You know, there are days when we just can't get our hair to look right. But then, we have those days when we look and feel like the queen. Because I want my skin to look flawless, I'm going to be using face primer first. I actually recommend this product for guys who want to reduce a shiny face without the makeup look. Smooth this all over your face and let's move on to concealing. Take your favorite concealer, I'm using here my trusty old great cover up concealer and with my BD blender sponge I have right here, I'm going to show you my current face makeup routine. With a little bit of concealer on the sponge, I'm dabbing a touch under my eyes to brighten and conceal any of the dark areas. And sometimes what I'll do is add a lighter concealer shade around my cheek area to create the illusion of fuller looking cheeks. So just smooth everything out and powder up. You can either use a sponge, a powder brush, or a powder puff to gently apply the powder on the area where you used concealer or foundation. If your foundation or concealer has a matte finish, you can skip this step. Alright, time for the brows. I'm going to be using two pencils and a brow filler to create my brow look for today. I'm taking my brow pencils here, called Arch, and using a color that matches my brow hair, I'm going to fill in my brows. If you naturally have full brows, you might not need much work, however for me, I have to literally draw my brows on by creating feathery strokes. Once you're done creating your brow shape, an extra step I like to do is add a brow filler. Brush this over your brows and you'll notice right away how natural they look. Find an eyeliner or eyeshadow in an amethyst color and outline the outer third of your eyes. What you want to do is create a wing shape, just by following your natural contour. And from here, just fill in the line as if you're coloring in a leaf. You want to make sure to leave the center of your lids empty. And from here, with a brush, quickly smudge the color to create a soft gradation. You can use a blending brush if you need it. Using here a teal or turquoise color, outline the outside of the amethyst color. Don't cover up the purple. Take the color down along the outer lower lash line and stop at the halfway point. Just blend in the teal so that it has a nice smooth transition into the purple. The teal and amethyst combination will create this multifaceted effect. It's going to look gorgeous under any different lighting. Just blend everything out and let's move on to warmer colors. I'm holding here the Pop Eyeshadow Trio using an antique metallic color. Remember when I asked you to leave an empty space on the center of your lids? Well, that's because we're going to fill it in with this regal color. And using the highlighter color here, add this along the inner area of your eye to help open them up. Using a real gold eyeshadow, well, not real gold, but you know what I mean, add this on top of the antique gold. The combination of purple and gold will give your eyes this royal touch. Using a rose gold or champagne eyeliner, pencil in your waterline to brighten up your eyes. Using your favorite liquid liner that's not black, I'm using here a navy color, but you can use a dark gray, dark brown, or dark blue. Line your eyes starting along the top inner corner of your eyes, slowly connecting the lines to extend it out. And from here, just line the lower lash line just a bit. Using a blending brush, find the natural contour of your eyes and start blending the blue and purple eyeshadow colors to create a hazy finish. Because of the liquid liner, we don't want the eyeshadow to have a hard edge. Keep it soft and help balance out the look. So I've been using this mini shoe lash curler. It takes a little more time to curl, but you really get every single lashes on your eyes that you may have missed. And once you're done, apply your favorite lash lengthening mascara. Ardell carries some awesome lashes. I'm using here the 120 demo. After cutting them to fit your lash line, add a thin strip of glue on the lash band and wait a few seconds for the white glue to dry clear. I think this has become my favorite product from my makeup line, Kiata Scooter. I'm using this double-sided contouring and highlighting stick to help map out my face so that you can see where the contouring is going before blending it out. So from here, just blend out your so-called war paint. Alright, looks good so far. Alright, time for some color. Be a bombshell blush. Add this on the apples of your cheeks. Mark your territory, and with your clean warm fingers, or beauty blender, go ahead and blend so that it looks more natural. Alright, we're almost done. Using here my red lip pencil, fill in your lips.
Ah, <sighs> a good red never fails. And if you want to add a darker twist to your red lips, just layer a deeper berry color over it. This will give your lips more dimension. A red lip is extremely high maintenance, meaning you have to make sure the edge is clean. And from here, just powder the rest of your face so that you're camera ready. Finish off your look by adding argan oil to your hair to give it that natural shine. I've been putting oil in my hair to keep it hydrated and healthy looking. A gold or red nail polish color is the perfect nail accessory for this regal look. Okay chicas, have fun trying this look out. Share with me your reigning queen look by tagging hashtag fun look. And if I love it, I'll make sure to like it. And don't forget, you're the queen in your life. Live by your own rules and conquer with a mighty heart. As for me, I'm going to keep calm and Michelle fun. Good luck. <laughs>